started at the Grand Canyon, um, came down just some awesome hills, had some incredible views of the canyon out to our left, and then we finished yesterday in Tuba City, Arizona. A lady from the Navajo Times came and interviewed us while we were sitting at the McDonald's, and it was just it was an awesome time to get to explain to her about human trafficking and she ended up writing us a check for fifty dollars which was also really amazing we were given this booklet released 30 days to stand for freedom by a friend julie saunders who works for street grace tennessee so we thank her for that but in my quiet time today i was reading on here and it talks about what can i do so i wanted to include this in the interview today for all the people that have been following us and following us on social media and they want to know what more can they do besides just see us on our trip. You can commit to pray earnestly and regularly. And then she goes on to talk about how it seemed impossible that Peter would ever get out of prison. And when the Church of Jesus Christ prayed, God answered their prayer in an amazing way and Peter was freed that night. She goes on to say, the problems and evil of this world may seem insurmountable and impossible to stem. Remember, however, that we worship a God who is able to do that which is impossible. We need to start by praying earnestly as they did in the early church. Pray that these dear ones who are in seemingly hopeless situations will know that there is a God who cares for them and loves them. Pray that one day this evil will be stopped. God is able. We've found out how beneficial it is just to go around on this trip and telling one person um, and that they can go off and tell three more people and then maybe one day enough people will hear that this global travesty has actually stopped.